Welcome to our lesson about the 2D chamfer. Let's start by activating the chamfer command. Sketch chamfer. There's two ways to create a chamfer. First is angle distance. Let's set 20 millimeters as the distance. And we'll set a 60 degree angle. The dimensions are going to be applied in the order that you select the sketch entities. Let's select this line first and then this line second. And here is the angle and distance dimensions. Let's check out the distance distance method of creating a sketch chamfer. We can also check here to apply an equal distance and then only use one dimension. For our example, let's use two distances, let's say 20 millimeters for the first distance and 30 millimeters for the second. Let's select this line first. Oh, I'm not able to select anything. There's a very simple reason for this. That's because a dimension is currently selected, this one here. Let's click in blank space to deselect it, or click it again to deselect it. Now let's select my first line and my second line. Notice that dimension 1 has been added to the first line, and dimension 2 has been added to the second line. The Sketch Chamfer Property Manager remains open because I pinned it down with this icon here. Let's create another chamfer. I'll select this line and this line. Now in order to create a chamfer, lines don't actually have to touch one another. However, the projections of those lines will need to intersect. In other words, lines can't be parallel if you want to make chamfers with them. Let's accept our work and exit the tool. And this concludes our lesson about using the 2D chamfer command.